He arose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. One uh, commentator has described this as an absurd action. What does he mean by that? This is an honor-shame society. Jesus here is doing the kind of thing that a slave would be expected to do. Uh, From the perspective of Jesus himself, it's an example of his so-called servant leadership. And this, of course, is the lesson his disciples are to learn. This is a kind of symbolic action, then, in which the master, the teacher, the man from heaven, all these other titles, the word of God, the revealer, and the revelation, takes on the action that would be appropriate to a servant or a slave and does it. And, of course, The disciples are amazed at this. How could this happen? Again, in an honor-shame society, this would be a shameful action. Let's see what that means. We're on chapter 13, verses 6 and following. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now but you will understand later. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance in me. Peter is refusing to accept Jesus' action as the servant leader, and in fact, as the Lamb of God. Peter says that this is not right, I won't accept it. What he has to learn is to accept salvation on God's own terms. God's own terms seem to be, according to John and to the whole New Testament, God's own terms are the mystery of the cross. Again, in this uh, society, crucifixion would have been a shameful way to die. It was very much a public action. It was intended as a deterrent. It was imposed upon rebels and slaves. How could uh, the savior of the world, as it were, undergo such a punishment? And the answer, in a sense, is accepting salvation on God's terms. Peter uh, seems to get it, finally. And so uh, he uh, says in verse 9, Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Now he wants the full wash. Uh, And again, he wants to accept salvation on his own terms, not on the terms of Jesus. Jesus wants to wash his feet, and that's enough. Peter doesn't want to accept that first of all, then when he seems to get the point, wants to, it, it, it to be even more so, and he wants to dictate the terms of his salvation, it seems. Um, verses 10 to 11. Jesus said to him, whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. Here, The reference seems to go back to Judas. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So the first interpretation, the first lesson, if you will, from the washing of the feet is accepting salvation on God's own terms. That is the cross, the death, and resurrection of Jesus. Jesus. 